Mircea Eliade, The Sacred and the Profane, The Nature of Religion. What if every corner of existence, from the grandeur of celestial skies to the intimacy of human rituals, tells a story of profound significance? What if time isn't just a ticking clock, but a sacred continuum, and nature isn't merely a backdrop to life, but a deeply spiritual tapestry? These questions may seem distant from the everyday reality you know, yet they are intimately connected to the essence of human experience. In this blink, you'll learn about the profound dichotomy between the sacred and the profane, exploring how sacred spaces transform our understanding of the world. You'll discover the intricate relationship between sacred time and rituals, and how these concepts are central to various cultural and religious practices. This journey offers a window into understanding the sacred echoes that still resonate within our modern lives, revealing the hidden depths of our collective human experience. Sanctuaries of Meaning – The Transformative Power of Sacred Spaces Imagine stepping into a space where every element around you is imbued with deeper meaning, a place that stands out starkly against the backdrop of the everyday world. This is the essence of sacred space, a concept central to many religious and cultural traditions. Sacred spaces are not just physical locations. They are profound interruptions in the homogeneity of daily life, offering a glimpse into a reality that transcends the ordinary. In these sacred spaces, the experience of the divine manifests. This is known as hierophany. This manifestation is not just a religious spectacle, but a foundational act akin to the creation of the world. It disrupts the uniformity of profane or secular space and introduces a sacred centre. This centre, pivotal to religious orientation, allows the world to be constituted, revealing a fixed point in what was previously an infinite expanse. For religious individuals, such spaces are essential for orientation in life, providing a foundation in the otherwise chaotic and formless expanse of the profane world. How do sacred spaces differ from profane ones? Well, while sacred spaces are marked by qualitative differences and a sense of structure, profane spaces lack these qualities. They are characterized by homogeneity and neutrality, where no place holds more significance than another. This leads to a fragmented existence, devoid of true orientation or meaning. And yet, even in the most secularized societies, certain places retain a semblance of sacredness. Think of your birthplace or the scene of a significant personal event. This hints at an underlying human need for sacred spaces. The concept of thresholds plays a crucial role in sacred spaces. These are not just physical boundaries but symbolic ones, demarcating the transition from the profane to the sacred. They are points of passage, enabling communication between two distinct modes of being. This is evident in religious structures like churches, where the threshold symbolizes a transition from the secular world outside to the sacred world within. Sacred spaces are also established through signs or rituals, often involving natural elements or animals. These practices are means by which humans seek and receive divine revelation, indicating a sacred site. Once a sacred space is established, it requires certain rituals or sacrifices echoing the divine acts of creation. This is evident in various cultural practices where constructing a dwelling or a temple is seen as replicating the cosmic creation. The concept of the cosmic axis, or sacred pole, is pivotal in many traditions. It symbolizes the connection between earth and heaven, and its destruction or loss signifies a return to chaos, underscoring the existential necessity of maintaining a connection with the sacred. Sacred spaces reflect the human longing to connect with something greater than the mundane, to find orientation and meaning in a world that can often seem chaotic and formless. These spaces, whether grand temples or modest homes, serve as anchors, offering a sense of order and connection to the divine, and ultimately, making the world a place that can be truly inhabited and experienced in its full depth and meaning. Understanding the sacredness of time and rituals. Have you ever entered a new year feeling as though time itself is being reborn and the world is being recreated from its primordial origins? This may sound dramatic, but for those who perceive time as a sacred entity, 
its passage can be a profound spiritual experience. In many ancient cultures, time isn't viewed as a linear, continuous flow, but rather as a duality comprising sacred and profane durations. Sacred time, unlike its profane counterpart, is reversible and eternally present. It's a primordial, mythical era that can be revisited and reactualized through rituals and festivals. These sacred occasions are not mere remembrances, they are reenactments of the very moments of creation, allowing participants to transcend ordinary time and re engage with the divine epoch. In some North American Indian languages, the word for world and year is the same, highlighting the intrinsic link between cosmos and time. And in other cultures, sacred structures like temples not only represent the cosmos, but also symbolize the year, embodying the cyclical nature of cosmic time. Many traditions reenact their creation myths every year during New Year celebrations, symbolizing the recreation of the world and the rebirth of time. These rituals often involve symbolic acts of purification and renewal, signifying the end of the old and the commencement of the new. In these moments, the participants don't just observe, but become part of the sacred mythical narrative. These rituals extend beyond mere tradition. They serve as a bridge to the sacred time of origins, allowing people to recover the primordial energy and purity of the cosmos. Myths, in this context, are not just stories, but paradigms that guide all significant human activities, providing a blueprint for a life aligned with the divine. Over the centuries, though, the perception of time and its sacredness underwent significant changes. Judaism and Christianity introduced the concept of a linear historical time with unique divine interventions, moving away from the cyclic concept of time. This shift marked the beginning of historicism, where history itself became a platform for divine revelation, albeit devoid of the cyclical, renewing nature of mythical time. As humanity transitioned from viewing time as a cyclic, sacred phenomenon to a linear historical concept, this significant shift redefined our collective relationship with the divine. It marks a profound transformation in our spiritual narrative, encapsulating the evolution of human consciousness and our perception of the sacred in the flow of time. Nature as Divine Tapestry, Unveiling the Sacred in the Cosmos Imagine a world where every element of nature, from the expansive sky above to the nurturing earth below, is deeply infused with sacred meaning. This world isn't a mere fantasy. It's a reality experienced by many religious individuals throughout history who perceive nature as a divine creation filled with spiritual significance. In the eyes of these individuals, nature transcends mere physical existence. The cosmos, viewed as a masterwork of the gods, goes beyond being a physical space to being a realm saturated with spiritual essence. Every aspect, from the boundless sky to the earth, serves as a testament to the sacred. The sky in its infinite reach reveals the divine transcendence, while the earth, akin to a nurturing mother, symbolizes both creation and sustenance. Naturally, the heavens have always held a special significance in religious thought. Celestial gods, residing in these unreachable realms, symbolize ultimate power and eternity. But these supreme beings often become distant, retreating from their active roles in the daily lives of mortals. This leads to a shift in focus toward more accessible, earthly divinities, especially those connected to the tangible experiences of life, like agriculture and fertility. Water, with its life-giving and purifying qualities, holds a special place in religious symbolism. It represents the source of all potential, the beginning of creation, and the promise of rebirth. In many cultures, immersion in water is seen as a return to a primordial state and a subsequent rebirth, vividly captured in the practice of baptism across various traditions. The earth, revered as a universal mother, is not just a giver of life but also a symbol of fecundity and abundance. This connection between the earth and the divine maternal figure is reflected in numerous rituals and myths. Childbirth and related rituals are seen as earthly reflections of cosmic fertility. The tree, a potent symbol in religious thought, represents life, immortality and wisdom. Cosmic trees or sacred plants embody the renewal of life and the eternal cycle of birth, death and rebirth. 
Fertility rites often mirror these cosmic processes, emphasizing the connection between human activities and the cosmic order. In modern times, the perception of nature has shifted significantly. The sacred view of the natural world has been largely replaced by a more secular understanding, particularly in developed societies. But traces of nature's sacred past linger in various cultural expressions and personal experiences, such as in the enduring reverence in many traditions for mountains as places of spiritual power and in the quiet awe many feel under a starlit sky. Cosmic symbols like the sun, moon, and celestial phenomena also continue to hold religious importance. They reveal different aspects of divinity and the cosmos, from the moon's association with life cycles to the sun's representation of unchanging power and intelligence. The religious perspective of nature, as a divine creation, rich in sacred meaning, provides a profound understanding of our world. This viewpoint weaves every natural element into a spiritual narrative, revealing a cosmos that is not just a physical entity, but a realm deeply connected with the divine. Echoes of the Sacred – The Transformation from Divine Integration to Secular Existence In the world of the religious man, every action, from the most mundane to the most significant, is imbued with deep sacred meaning. The divine and the earthly intertwine, creating an existence far beyond the ordinary. In this world, the cosmos is not just a vast expanse of space, but a living, breathing entity, a divine creation that speaks in the language of sacredness. Every element within it, from the stars in the sky to the trees on the earth, is a symbol of a larger, more profound truth. The religious man sees himself as a microcosm of this grand cosmos, carrying within himself the same sanctity and order. Central to this sacred life are rituals and myths, the tools through which humans connect with the divine. These rituals, be they as simple as a marriage ceremony or as complex as initiation rites, serve as portals to a higher realm of existence. They are not mere traditions, but acts that replicate divine actions, binding man to the gods and embedding him within the fabric of reality. Life's major transitions, birth, marriage and death, are not just biological or social events but pivotal spiritual passages. These rites of passage serve as bridges, guiding individuals from one state of being to another, marking not just a change in social status but an ontological transformation. Birth is not merely the start of physical life, it's an initiation into the world. Marriage is a sacred union, mirroring the cosmological marriage of heaven and earth. Death, the ultimate rite of passage, is not an end but a transition to another form of existence. In societies where the sacred pervades, men and women undergo different rites that reflect their unique experiences and roles. Men's initiation rites often involve trials and challenges, symbolizing death and rebirth, while women's rituals center around fertility and the mystery of childbirth, celebrating their role as life givers. But in the modern secular world, this rich tapestry of sacred life has faded. The sacred has been eclipsed by the profane, and the once vibrant rituals and myths have been relegated to the realm of the unconscious, manifesting in diluted, secular forms. Modern man, having severed his ties with the divine, finds himself in a world that is disenchanted, devoid of the sacred meanings that once gave life its depth and colour. Yet remnants of this sacred past linger in the depths of our collective psyche emerging in our rituals, myths, and even our dreams. They are a testament to our shared heritage, a whisper from our ancestors, reminding us that once, every aspect of human life was a step on the path to the divine. The journey from the sacred to the secular is not just a historical transition, but a transformation of the human spirit. It reflects a shift in how we perceive and interact with the world around us moving from a life integrated with the divine to one that stands apart. But the echoes of the sacred continue to resonate, subtly shaping our experiences and reminding us of a time when the world was a bridge to the transcendent.